to hear it. How you feeling? I feel fine. You sound more alert than you have in a week. Okay, now let me yep. what? You sound more alert than you have oh. in a week. So well, I, I had some successes today. Oh, Good. excellent. Excellent. Yes. But I must tell you about yesterday. Oh, please do. Oh, I'm very... Um, Very noisy chairs here. I arose at my usual honorary person time at seven o'clock. Got all ready for me for therapy. <coughs> Got my shoes on. I came in the right time. We left at the right time, and I got to the corner and I went the wrong way. So I said, "Don't." No. That's wrong. Let's go that way. He didn't answer me. My pusher. He was my pusher. <laughs> and uh, he uh, went on the wrong hall, turned the wrong corner again. I said, I'm going to therapy. Never said a word. Just took me to a corner facing an outdoor <laughs> and just left me there. So what did you do? So I asked, I asked three or four times, why am I going the wrong way? So far, nobody answered. Nobody answered at all. Well, my pusher went away for a little while and he came back and he said, I, it was a man who arrived in the meantime. He said, um, I'll, I'll be back for you later. And took off. I said, where am I going? He just took off his other guy, took us outdoors to a nice car, beautiful car that looks like the cop taking customers to their new home. And uh, we got in this thing with ups and downs and crashing my hand and so forth. Where were we going? Not a word. So I uh, <clears throat> we got this thing and we rode and we rode and we rode and I was sure that it was two hours of riding. Finally I got over to a big place with the Methodist Hospital and a bunch of things like that. And then I knew where we were going. I just knew we were going to this spot. So we got out, went in, just as Stan walked in. And I was amazed. Had he made a, a rendezvous or something? Uh, anyway, went in and had a lovely time for another week. And... Uh, then had an x-ray on my leg and I wondered why, why did we drive two hours to get, get my, get my leg leg, uh, picture taken and uh, could have gone to Arcadia or anywhere. All my machines they could take pictures, don't they? <laughs> and anyway, we waited, we waited, and finally somebody came and spoke to us, and then we waited and waited and waited, and then I guess the second person we saw, uh, or maybe it was the third, was Doctor.
quickly. And we talked a little bit and he was gonna he told us I was there for that and I said, Oh well Stan said yes, I knew it and I <coughs> burst me and uh, so he took it and I entertained them by vomiting before he did it. Not much but just enough to you know, a little more embarrassment. And then, after that, it takes a hell of a time getting up on that table. And uh, then he showed us he said, it's coming along fine. And, uh, and I... Uh, He talked to us a little bit. What were those four things sticking out of a one thing? Those are the screws that go into your leg bone. The That's fem what? The screws that go into your femur. Oh, oh, they are. Mm -hmm. that one. And two of them are broken, but he's not concerned about that because your bone is knitting, so it doesn't matter. Oh. He said, that's the first time I've seen that happen. I said, are they stainless? He said, yes, they're a form of stainless. So you had four screws in your leg bone, your thigh bone as some people call it. Two of them broke, but two of them are still holding, and your bone is healing, so you're okay. Why? Why is that all right? Because if the bone has started to knit, the screws no longer have to hold it in position. Oh, oh. And then what happens? They just are they left in they there? Just, yes, they just stay there. And besides, there's two that are still holding, so you're, you're in good shape. At least that's what Quigley said. And... Uh, Do you remember him telling you, you're doing fine? Yes, yeah. I, but, and he told you a lot. I mean, he told a lot that I didn't understand. I wanted oh. you to tell me. I will do that. And so then we tottered back. And we got home in 15 minutes. Yep. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> so, and we went, we came back freeway. Ah, good. And, uh, That'll do it. Because uh, Alan, is that his name, the driver? What? Is Alan the driver's name? Yes. Yes, he said that he took you there on Huntington. And he was a little more talkative on the way back home. Good. <laughs>